Hello everyone, welcome back to visualbasic.net tutorials. Today we are going to talk about uh, classes again and uh, we are going to talk about inheritance and some other features uh, or uh, uh, about the accessibility of uh, your functions and variables. Uh, to be more specific, we are going to talk about private, public and something new which is called protected. Okay. Uh, in the last two tutorials, uh, we created an example, uh, which is the address book, which allows you to uh, create uh, create a number of uh, contacts. Okay. To create a number, uh, to add a number of contacts and remove them. Okay. Now, uh, let me remove this one. Now, uh, th this is how your previous project looked like and you can add and remove a contact that's all now what are we gonna do today is we are gonna create a new class we are gonna improve this one okay the new class will behave exactly like contact list except that it will have some extra functionality for example let's say it can perform a sort operation okay so let's see how uh, can we do that the method to do it is using inheritance first step is to create a, a, a new class here um, let's call okay contacts with sort okay let's call it contacts with sort and hit the add button now as you can see this is a new class and it it looks like exactly the same as the previous ones contact info which is this one and the uh, contact list and the first thing that comes to many of uh, sorry uh, the first thing that comes to mind for many programmers uh, or many people is to copy the code from here and paste it there well you don't have to all you have to do is to write this inherits uh, contact list okay now as soon as the, the compiler sees this keyword it understand that the behavior the functions the properties uh, which are in contact list will all be also available in contact with sort class okay so the methods the array and the array and the counter uh, uh, which are in contact list which in this case I mean here these all of this code is similar to copying all of this code and pasting it here it's not exactly similar but you can think of it uh, about it like this okay now uh, let's write our new method public sort Pub uh, sorry public sub sort okay now before writing the code of the sort operation let's see if what I said right uh, uh, sorry what I said is right if I write me dot I should be able to access the functions and the variables now let's check this I can access the add a new contact which is part of contact list I can access full DGV which, which is used to fill da the data grid view which is also available in contact list I can also access the remove contact okay so far so good however I won't be able to access the counter of the array uh, sorry the counter of the number of contact C if I say C for example equals 100 I'm getting an error here and as you can see the error is saying that C is a private so let's uh, look uh, to this in more detail now here I write dimension in front of each variable if you write dimension in the, uh, inside the class in front of a variable it is similar to writing private okay so here 
this is a private and this is a private so what does a private means it means these variables are only accessible by the code of the class it cannot be accessed from outside the class so if you go here for example and you try to make let's say an error for example let's say obj dot and you want to modify the value of c to make it to, uh, to make your program or your object believe that it has 500 contact you can't because here uh, you are get, uh, the compiler is preventing you from committing uh, committing such a mistake you will only be able to increase the number of contacts using the standard methods okay so this helps you uh, help uh, preventing you from making mistakes okay now uh, we are still having a problem if these are private how we are gonna solve them in our new class now the other solution is to replace private with public okay so here public and I already created uh, the code of the sort operation okay and in notepad and now if I want to go let me see here you can see the error here disappeared okay and it C is being identified if I, if I want to uh, contact ARR you can see uh, I, I can access the array no problem now uh, the code of the sort operation this is the code okay it's very it's very straightforward it's a bubble sort okay and I, I can use it how 